everyone, my name is Ramon El Magnifico and welcome to episode 40 of the Famous Pipe Smoker Friday show. And this week we are going to celebrate both Christmas and a real motherfucker's birthday. And that is Mr. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel Leroy Jackson was born on December 21st, 1948 in Washington, D.C. to Elizabeth Montgomery and Roy Henry Jackson. He was raised by his mother, a factory worker, and his grandparents. At Moorhead College, Jackson was active in the Black Student Movement in the 70s he joined the Negro Ensemble Company together with Morgan Freeman. In the 80s, he became well known after three movies made by Spike Lee. Do the Right Thing, which came out in 1989, Mo Better Blues, which came out in 1990, and Jungle Fever, which came out in 1991. He achieved prominence and critical acclaim in the early 1990s with films such as Patriot Games in 1992, True Romance in 1993, and Jurassic Park, also 1993. And his collaborations with director Quentin Tarantino, including Pulp Fiction, which came out in 1994, Jackie Brown in 1997, and later Django Unchained in 2012, and The Hateful Eight, in which we see him pipe smoking. Going from supporting player to leading man, his performance in Pulp Fiction gave him an Oscar nomination for his character, Jules Winfield and he received a silver Berlin bear for his part as Ordell Robbie in Jackie Brown. Jackson usually played bad guys and drug, drug addicts before becoming an action hero, co-starring with Bruce Willis in Die Hard with a Vengeance in 1995 and the lovely Gina Davis in The Long Kiss Goodnight in 1996. With Jackson's permission, his likeness was used for the ultimate version of Marvel Comics character Nick Fury. He later went on to play the role of Nick Fury in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, beginning with Iron Man in 2008 all the way to Spider-Man Far From Home earlier this year in 2019. Jackson also played Nick Fury in some episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on the ABC TV show. He's also Mace Windu in the Star Wars prequels. Sam Jackson has provided his voice to several animated films, television series, and video games, including the roles of Lucio's Best, or Frozone, in Pixar's films The Incredibles and Incredibles 2, and Maze Windu in Star Wars The Clone Wars, Afro Samurai in the uh, anime television series Afro Samurai, and Frank Tenpenny in the, the video game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Okay, full transparency. I didn't realize this episode was going to be up the Friday before Christmas until I was doing the research on Mr. Jackson. And I don't want to uh, not celebrate his birthday, um, uh, which is tomorrow. But uh, this is also going to be our Christmas episode. So... Here's our quick salute to two to the two most famous pipe smokers at Christmas time. Frosty the Snowman and the man himself Santa Claus. 
Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cup pipe, very important, and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the Snowman is a popular Christmas song written by Walter, Jack Rollins, and Steve Nelson, and first recorded by Gene Autry and the Cass County Boys in 1950. It was written after the success of Autry's recording of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer the previous year. Frosty was sub subsequently adapted to other media, including a popular television special by Rankin Bass Productions, which has become a staple around Christmas time. Now, as for the uh, jolly old guy wearing red, his story is long, it's varied, and there are great documentaries both on Netflix and on Amazon Prime that you can watch to learn more about his history. For the purposes of my show, I'm focusing on the famous poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas, which, by the way, I read in 2014 and made videos about it on an El Magnifico Christmas special back in 2014. Anyways, according to legend, to legend, Clement Clark Moore wrote his immortal poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, also known as The Night Before Christmas, for his family on Christmas Eve, 1822. He never intended that it be published, but a family friend, Miss Harriet Butler, learned of the poem sometime later from Moore's children. She copied it into her album and submitted it to the editor of the Troy Sentinel, where it made its first appearance in print on December 23rd, 1823. Soon the poem began to be reprinted in other newspapers, almanacs, and magazines, with the first appearance in a book in the New York Book of Poetry, edited by Charles Fino Hoffman in 1837. It was not until 1844, however, that Moore himself acknowledged the authorship in a volume of his poetry entitled Poems, published at the request of his children. In the poem, St. Nicholas was described thus. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a ped peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled! His dimples, how merry! His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe, that's the important part, he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. 180 years later, Twas the Night Before Christmas is the most published, most reread, most memorized, and most collected book in all of Christmas literature. All right, that's it for this episode. My thanks to IMDb for the info I used in the Sam Jackson, por Sam Jackson portion of this episode. My thanks to Wikipedia for the information for the Frosty portion of the episode and to Night Before Christmas That Biz for the Santa portion of this episode. Whew. Man, I'm all over the place. Thank you so much for watching. I gotta be honest, I've been a fan 
of Sam Jackson since Pulp Fiction, because I didn't realize that that was him in Jurassic Park. Um, and it wasn't until doing the research for this episode that I learned that the L stands for Leroy. <laughs> Anyways, hey, what are you guys doing for the holidays? My parents and my youngest brother are coming up from the San Francisco Bay and we're going to be spending the time, uh, at least Christmas time, at my brother's house here in Seattle. Let me know in the comments what you'll be doing for the holidays. Um, and let me know if you spot any pipe smoking in classic Christmas movies. I know there's a few where there's pipe smoking. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you like this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified when all other episodes of the famous Pipe Smoker Friday show, as well as my movie reviews and any other video that I put up, uh, goes up and you'll get notified. Uh, follow me on my Twitter and my new Instagram at El Magnifico 5000. That's it. Until ne next time, may God bless you all. Happy holidays, everybody. So long. Thanks for all the fish. Bye. <laughs>